a vibe coding tool where you can control every single aspect of the entire process. It's not just some random black box. You can literally see everything going on. That's what we're looking at today. As always, I'll have a link in the description below so you can check this tool out for yourself. But like I said, it is really, really cool. So let's start off with a really simple prompt. So we have our prompt here. I'm just going to hit go so we can actually just start creating our project. And I'm going to talk to you about what makes this so much different and better. But we can see here in the top right, we have our prompt that says, I want to allow users to generate kids storybooks. So they enter a prompt and the page generates prompts for each page image and then at the end it should turn it all into a nice flip page book so basically a whole little website where people can create storybooks for whoever so that's our prompt right there we can see it is processing our request so what makes this really different is WeWeb actually didn't start off as a vibe coding tool it actually started off as like a workflow website drag and drop builder and they've left that but they've also added the ai aspect giving you a really cool like best of both worlds so you can actually use ai as well as like drag and drop building blocks and then as it's working you're going to see full-fledged details about everything going on so i know generally when i'm doing these videos i'm like I click go and then I'm just kind of sitting there and I'm like hoping for the best. But in this circumstance, you can actually see things going on. So in the right side, and if I move myself over just a little, you can see it's like your normal chat and we have like a build and we can see like, hey, let's code a component or maybe we want to just ask a question. We can connect with a database and it's not just super base. You can connect with so many different databases here, but you can also see the thought process and you can see everything that it's thinking. Okay, it's nothing special just yet. I mean, a lot of models do that, but where it gets really cool is you can see the variables, for example, and you can actually hover and click this and you can see each and every variable that is being made for your application. So not only is it making the variables for you, it's also going to tell you what the variables for. So this one's a string and it's saying, hey, this is the users prompt that they're going to be entering and here's the default value and we can go through and we can see every single variable that we web is creating which is really really cool so just off the start if you do a lot of vibe coding and i do it from time to time i don't know if you guys subscribe to this channel you'll know i do it um and if you're not subscribed definitely consider subscribing i cover ai on a daily basis but it one of the hardest parts with vibe coding is variables and it forgetting the variables that I already created, forgetting the variables that exist, and then it's going to go off and make new variables. And then that eventually causes problems. The fact that it shows you the variables on the right is pretty cool. Then there's also library elements. So if we click that, you can actually see here on the left, we have library. And this is kind of what I was saying before, where this is a vibe coding tool but also like a drag and drop website builder and it gets really really cool you're you're gonna see it all come together in a second but we can actually see the library here so we can see the story text and the headings and we can see the colors that we are using throughout our application and we can quickly click this and then we can change the error color so maybe we want it to be a little bit less like bright and in your face we can make it a little bit darker and then we can hit save and that is going to update our entire application for errors so we don't have to sit there and prompt it back and say hey can you change the error code color and then get a bunch of other things wrong we can just quickly change the colors because it has access to the code that it is actually creating so you can kind of see where i'm going with this this is just one aspect you can adjust the spacing and pretty much everything that exists on our website that's being created right now, we can adjust it. You can actually see at the top, we have assets so we can see libraries of stuff, images, there's plugins that we can add. So we can actually add our own APIs. And in the next application I'm going to build in this video, I'm going to try to use an API that is not popular by any stretch of the imagination. We're going to see how well it can do, but we can adjust data sources and you can actually see all the different data sources that we can pick from and get from. So if we want to do an SQL plugin, we can do that. So we don't have to rely on just Superbase for a database. So I think it is actually kind of wild that it can do all of that. It has authentication and backends and 
it has a lot more. So we can do a PWA and all sorts of stuff. We can do even custom code if we want in our header and body. But where it gets really cool is say we want to click this here. Like we have the main title. We can see this is an H1 tag and we can actually like adjust every aspect of this. So we can say, okay, I want to duplicate it, this or copy it or turn it into a component or whatever we want to do. But in the top right, we have AI, but we also have one that says edit. So if we click edit, now we have access to all the HTML related attributes for whatever we have selected. So we select the main title. We can actually see here on the right, we can see the state, what happens when we click it, maybe want to adjust the letter spacing. We can do that right here in just like seconds with no coding background. It We can just make it fix and do whatever we want. So say we want to adjust the borders or colors or again, the, the options are endless. There is even custom CSS that we can add to just this text here. So I got rid of the text shadow and then I just made it black so you can see it a lot better. And then maybe this text here, we want to like adjust it. Again, I could go back to the AI tab and then say, hey, can you adjust this text here? Or I can just say, hey, enter a prompt to watch your story come to life. And we can get rid of the rest so it all stays on one line. And we're just going to go backspace. And just like that, our website is fixed. So you can kind of see what I'm saying. Like if we click this box here, we can actually go back to edit. And again, we can kind of see every single aspect that we can change to make this be whatever we want it to look like and feel like. And we can adjust the prompt inside. At the top, we can adjust how we're looking at this. So it's like desktop, tablet, or mobile. There are features kind of sprinkled everywhere. You're going to realize very quickly. So I want to go to the add section for a second, and I want to show you what's there as well, because it's kind of cool. So we have like a bottom navigation. So we can literally just drag that over. And just like that, we have a bottom navigation in our application. So again, this is like kind of what I was telling you. It's the best of like vibe coding with drag and drop. So you're making the absolute website you want it to be where you're not compromising on any aspect. It's not a just random black box where AI is taking over. You can actually make real changes to your application. So maybe we want a side menu and we can just drag and say, hey, let's place this here and check this out. We have a little side menu now with settings and we can come back to the AI and then we can say, hey, integrate with our application with proper working links. So we went from just like drag and drop to AI to integrate both back together. And also, I just want to move myself out of the way again. I want to show you on the left here, we have all our variables as well. Again, it keeps track of everything in our application, which is absolutely wild. So I have to put in another prompt to be a little bit more specific as to the changes because it didn't work very well the first time. So I had to be more like, hey, this is exactly what I want. And it's doing it now. It's updating our sidebar and you can see it's working. But I want to show you something really important. So we can actually click updated page and it's going to show us in order every single change it's made. So if we click one, you can actually see the logo here, Story GPT is this logo here. And when we click it, it actually adds it to the chat. So maybe we can say, hey, make the logo nicer and bigger. And then we can send that through too. We don't have to do anything. We just literally click the logo. We can do that through any aspect here. We can see like, okay, this is the code that it just updated. But where it gets really cool, if you come down, if you see anything with like this little star, you can actually click you can click it and you're going to see a workflow that looks like this. And this workflow doesn't have a lot going on. So let me scroll up. Let's try one of these instead. So you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So we can see here on execution. So when the user's pushing submit and you can see here, it's going to generate. It gives you like a little description as to what's going on, but we can actually see every single aspect of the workflow. So we can see, okay, if it's true, here's what's happening. If it's false, go back. It's updating. It's going to generate images. We can add an action if we want, and we can start manually doing this. We can click any individual one we want, and we can see, okay, this is custom JavaScript that it's working on. We can actually hit edit code, and now we can actually see all the code that is being used in our program itself. WeWeb is the perfect combination of like a powered user's dream and then like a beginner's dream because 
if you're a beginner, you can drag and drop, you can talk to AI, everything can kind of work together. But if you're a power user, you can actually access a code for every individual component of your entire website, of your entire workflow. So as someone who knows how to code, I find this tool like absolutely phenomenal because I'm finding myself, I can go through and make minor modifications, make changes to whatever I'm working on. And I've used this for a couple of different applications already. And I gotta say it is really, really cool. And then when you're on this whole workflow thing, there's at the top, it's like on error. So you can say, okay, if there's an error, this is what's going to happen. So they kind of have all their bases covered. And now we can see a preview. So let's try like a brave toaster goes to space. We're going to generate our book and we can see our loading percentage bar and it's generating our story. It's pretty cool. So we can actually see a little story that it's come up with. The images aren't there yet. We're going to have to talk to it and say, hey, can you fix this? But you can kind of see here, it's actually made like a forwards and backwards book which is pretty cool. It works pretty well. So we have our little adventure here and it has the pages and we can save the story and then we can put it in our library. We could go back and talk to the AI. We can have it fix it all up so it generates the images, but I'm gonna actually go on to the next project because I really wanna push the bounds, the limits of what this tool can actually do. Can we integrate an API that's not super popular and then actually start using a database and kind of bring everything I showed you all together? We can see here, we have our workspace. We're going to create a brand new project and we have a ton of different starting projects we can use. We can see a demo, we can create a project, we see more details. I'm just gonna use a blank project just because I'm kind of boring. So this one is gonna be called Hockey Vibes and just stick with me for just a moment. So we have our prompt here, we're on build mode and I'm gonna show you, we can actually click this here. It's going to enhance our prompt and now I can hit send and it's going to start working on our application and this whole new to WeWeb always pops up, just gives you like a guided tour because there is a lot here. It makes sense why they would have a guided tour. But anyway, let's take a look at our prompt now. So our prompt this time around is analyze a team's last five to 10 game results. So win, losses, goals for and against, and then the LLM will generate a short witty or analytical paragraph summarizing the team's current momentum and mood and i said i want you to use the api from and i give it a link to a developer portal where the nhl api comes from so i'm picking a hockey application we're just going to basically pick a team going to create a vibe check on the team itself and again it's not a super popular api we're going to see if it can work with this and what we get out of this entire process. The prompt continues to go on to say, hey, maybe show all the teams and when the user clicks one, it loads the data and generates the vibe check for that team and store that all in a database. I have an API key, so make a variable and I will add the key value to it. So in theory, it should make a couple of variables for us. One for the sports trader website where I can just enter in my API key for that. And then also one maybe for the large language model. So we can actually see here, it's already starting to create a navigation bar. We can see it, it's actually up here. NHL vibe check, team performance analytics, API connected. I like the little connected thing, even though it's not. Um, hopefully they'll fix that at some point. I guess maybe they're just adding the elements, but anyway, we can see the API status, the status dot, and then we can discover each team's current momentum with AI powered, analysis of the recent performance. And we can see it's going to start adding all the teams. No idea if it's gonna be able to pull this off because I gave it a lot all at once. I'll be back at the end of its first prompt generation and I'm gonna take you through what it's able to do from a single prompt and then we'll work from there. So here is our application. We can refresh the teams. We can click a team to start getting it to analyze. So we can just like, click whatever we want, it's going to start analyzing that team. On the left, I have a console log like bug report thing going. So you can actually click up here and you'll see the screen. But now we can see all the objects that it's pulled using the API and the key. So the only thing I've done is took the key and put it in to our 
variable so the variable knows what the key is and you can see it's actually able to pull this information now we can see the ottawa senators for example so we can see a win percentage average goals four and we can see their recent games and we can see when the ai has analyzed it but you can see this is what the api has given us back so it's 2024 but it's the fact that it is pulling the data from the api coming up with these recent games so it is pulling the data it is generating stuff but it's not showing it on the ui so i can just hit preview go back and just start modifying it back and forth until it works it's your standard vibe coding tool but with all these additions where you can quickly add in plugins and do stuff so i've added in the open ai plugin in order for all this to work just to make it life a little bit easier the database on this did not work off the first prompt but again i can just hit back end and i can just one click add superbase if i wanted and i can configure superbase now and we can instantly have a database or we can use something else there are a lot of options here in the top right there's also this deploy button so we can back up or we can hit deploy we can actually publish our application we can publish it to a subdomain one that they give us we could also like host the entire thing we can add our own custom domain there are a ton of options kind of everywhere then if you need help you can actually use help you can chat with them you can use documentation there is a lot on this tool weweb is like the perfect combination of vibe coding and real coding with an entire like drag and drop system it's a really cool website as i said before this video is getting a little bit long so i'm not going to go through and modify the entire nhl vibe check application but as i said before the link will be in the description below so if you want to check it out definitely click the link and give it a try if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to cover ai on a daily basis don't forget to like the video tell the auger the pain i enjoy this type of content and i want to see more of it thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with another video You're meant to be